Hello and welcome back to Charwell. Our pigs have been creating a lot of manure. So let's get it onto the fields. So we're in our little JCB skid steer here and we've got in convoy behind us our uh, fast track and we're taking these down to the shop because uh, we want to get some equipment that's going to allow us to spread this manure. Uh, so we need a manure spreader and we need a uh, uh, and we need something to actually fill the manure spreader with. So we're going to get a new uh, bucket uh, specifically for this for, the, for our little JCB here. Now it's not going to be an actual uh, manure claw or a manure um, bucket or fork. It's not going to be a manure fork uh, because those tend to be pretty small and we want to fill this uh, as quickly as we can. So once we get these two down here, let's pop into the shop and have a look. So under manure spreaders, I think what I'm going to go for uh, most cost-effective option we've got in here. Looking through all of these, uh, that has seven thousand. But this Abbey spreader here from uh, from 4D Modding this takes uh, 11,000 liters uh, and um, is, is only 18 grand. So I think it's absolutely brilliant choice for us here. Lots of choices on what we can uh, color it. We could do a glossy black, but I think uh, we've got a choice of class green, class red, class white, New Holland. Uh, I think we're considering that we have a whole load of uh, class stuff on here. Uh, I think we should go for a class green with it. Uh, rim color, we're gonna do the silver to match our uh, to match our other tractors, and we'll go with that wheel brand. We've got a few choices: BKT, Michelin's, Trellborgs, Nokians, and Mitas. Oh, I quite like the Mitas tires on that. And registration, we want to get a UK reg on it because this, of course, is a UK map. So there we go: thirteen thousand. Wow, only 13,460 for this Abbey spread up. But that is absolutely perfect for what we're doing. There we go. And then along with that, we're going to head over here to the skid steer loaders. And under this, uh, you can see here that if we look at the Paladin one, uh, the manure fork is 710. Uh, if we look at the JCB ones, so the ones that come with this, the manure fork again is only 710. The largest manure fork I found um, is this one here in uh, in the CSZ pack, and that is, but even that is only a thousand. So what we're going to do is we're going to come along to here, and we're going to get this a multi-purpose bucket with grabber forged teeth. Uh, does take manure. It is a 2,000 litre bucket. Should mean that we can fill our stuff pretty quickly um, and have something different to uh, what we're using to do our other equipment. So buy that. Yes. Okay. Back. And that gives us our two pieces of kit. 16,000 for that. So not... The other thing, of course, is that is not been overly expensive, which is good news. So we'll hook up our bucket. And there's a, quite a big bucket on the front of this. Now we should have... Oop. Doing that a bit recently. There we go. That's how I open my claw. So we get that ready to transport back. And hook this up to our Abbey manure spreader with a little bit of a different colour on it. The green and the silver that we've got kicking around the farm seems to be a really nice combination. I, I am I am loving that combination of green and silver. Right. And is that connected up? Yep, that is all connected up. So again, we're going to set that on follow and get these two back to the farm. I, what I love about the pig farm and our setup on here is that it's it's actually not that far from the shop. So we don't need a, a workshop for that. 
we just uh, we just need to keep going and uh, and consort things really really easily and really quickly it's quite a the one thing I don't like about this uh, JCB actually is I can't remove the cage. You've always got to have the cage on this mod, um, and I'd quite like it if it was uh, if it had a little bit more visibility to it. But uh, it's okay, uh, and it works beautifully. It's a, it's a great mod for for what we're doing on this farm. So yeah, I've not I've not got a, 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 an issue with it beyond that. And we're gonna bring this here. Take the follow me off. And then open that up. Perfect. Right. That on. And then we are going to get this filled up. So. Open up our claw. Down and in. There we go. 1984 in uh, in it, and pop out here. And actually, that was uh, now. This is the thing about the CSF pack. We have a uh, a camera on the actual bucket, so we can set our bucket cam to show us uh, exactly what we want. Now this is where a high dump bucket would come in useful on this, because obviously we're uh, we've got a little bit of a clipping issue with this, but it is filling it, and we are doing okay with it. So that is all good. Works wonderfully. So let's get the rest of this filled up, and then we will be in a position where we can just go. And uh, start spreading this on the field. And we could talk about uh, spreading at levels. And how much we actually should be spreading on our field. So this is our last load of manure now. We are topping off the trailer with this. Get this loaded up like so in that goes and uh, and yeah that means we should have in fact there we are perfect so we'll go park this back over here and just park it up because we're going to need more of this. And we'll head over and close this up. Like so. And if we head up to field 45 where we're going to spread this. We want to make sure that we have a good spreading rate going on here. So we've got the variable spray rate mod in here. And you can see at the bottom... Uh, right hand, uh, we've got 20 meters cubed per hectare. Which seems to be a pretty good rate for us. It's the same rate that I use on the uh, realism experiment. Let us know in the comments, though, if you think that's, uh, that's an incorrect rate and maybe we need to change it. But uh, and certainly for me, that's a rate that has uh, served me well in the past. Uh, so we're going to try and do it with that. We'll see how far it goes. This, of course, is a side spreader as well. So it's uh, uh, we need a, a fair whack of uh, a um, side set up on this. And I think we have... Do we have GPS on this? Yes, we do have GPS on this. So uh, we can get that sorted as well. Now, we've got snap to terrain angle on. I think I'm actually going to turn that off. And we're going to see if we can get this to do with the offset set. So, we want to run it on the side of the field here. 
We want to set our first point. We want to set this going. And off we go. I think I've still got it on, haven't I? Did I turn that off or not? I'm going to turn this off because I think I got that wrong. Yeah, I've still got snap terrain angle on. So we're going to reset this. Yeah, there we go. And start it again and away we go. Because we want this to be on a nice straight course along this sort of line here. So that then should do it. There we go. Auto width it. And we'll have a look at what that looks like now. So show lines. And you can see we've got a pretty interesting offset on this. It's going to head over to there. So I'm going to move this over to where we are now and you can see we're on a good line start it up and away we go and so we now have a great offset with this setting up now I don't know why that did that why that moved over because that shouldn't have and I'm very wary of how much manure I'm wasting by just standing there which is the annoying one. Right. There we go. Now that should be position. Now that's interesting. What are you doing? GPS. Now I hit the auto width again. But I want to get this. Yeah. I want to get this to auto width here. Okay. And I think we've got it set so that it's offset reversal on. There we go. Right. Let's try auto widthing that again. Getting it into position. Probably. Yeah. It's doing some weird stuff, GPS, with this. It doesn't seem to quite understand what it's doing. And it's getting its offsets round the wrong way. Ah, right. So, this is the wonders of th when things don't quite go right. We're going to get some manure done on that small bit there. We're going to turn this round, get ourselves to the end of the field, and try to get this so that it hits the right place. So that is where we want to be. That is our setting. I think this is because the offset is so far onto the edge. That it's, yeah, it's catching it as the next one. Which, uh, yeah, is what's causing us problems. So we want to try and move our offset ever so slightly in, I think. So let's try that. Uh, so offset increment, we're going to take... Uh, no. Yeah, we're going to take that down to just under that should do it right there we go now we've got our offset slightly inside so it should stop it from making that switch to the next line that it's been doing turn on and away we go and there we are so by moving our offset inside ever so slightly that should sort things out and should make things work um, it's just that little bit annoying is what that is. But it is working, which is good news. I'm going to, again, if I hit the auto width here, this is probably going to break things, but I want to make sure. Now, the other worrying thing we've got, and the th thing that this is going to mean, uh, this job probably takes a little while. 
and uh, and that we're not going to do most of it on this um, on this video uh, is because we are down to 33 percent on our manure uh, and we have uh, you know we're we're running low already uh, I also realize that uh, the field I probably wanted to do first is field uh, 31 and that is because that is where we're going to be seeding first but hey ho I wanted to do a bit of manure I wanted to give this a try out I want to see how far it was going to go we yeah it has not gone very far at all and I think we're having to auto width is going to be important on this right there we go because, yeah, we are down to 22% manure. Whether we have enough manure is uh, is a good question. And also, you can see now that we do have a gap in our manure. That means I need to rework this ever so slightly. Yeah. GPS with stuff that's side spreading really does not like it. You need to move it in that ever so slight bit there. So, uh, increase. Take that down to nine foot. Mark it. Turn it on. Away we go. Yep. Yeah. And there we go. We're empty. So, uh, yeah, I think the manure is going to be one of those things that is going to be not that easy for us to do. We're going to have to, uh, I think we're going to have to work a little bit more at getting this to work. Whether I do the rest of this field uh, or our other field, I'm not sure. Um, but either way, we've got quite a bit of work to get this to work, I think. And, uh, and it's going to be an interesting setup. Uh, for now, though, I think we're going to leave this here. It's going to be uh, its one of those ones that we're struggling a little bit. So I'm going to not show uh, us uh, doing too much struggle. But that is, that is our general idea, is to try and get this done with manure. Uh, for now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos and live streams from Virtual Farmer, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.